Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Donnie. I know it's been a minute since I posted a video, um, but I do have a, well, it's a first look for you today. It was supposed to be a sneak peek, but it did not arrive to me in time to show you before it was released, but they just came out yesterday. So stick around and I'll show you what it is. It looks like Diamond Art Club has got some round kits coming in now because I've seen quite a few. Um, this one, the post office really damaged the box, but everything inside should be perfectly fine. This one is called A Strange Kind of Cat by Simona Candini, and this is what it looks like. The size is 56, 70 by, 56 centimeters by 71 centimeters. It has 54 colors and three of those are going to be a B and let's see what else um, it has a total of 50,148 drills and it is round as you can see by the round symbol here on the outside of the box and let's get it open so we can see what it looks like um, this one is $54.99 at full price, but if you've never ordered from Diamond Art Club before, you can use my code in my link tree for a spectacular discount on your first order. If you have ordered from Diamond Art Club before, you know there are many different places you can find discount codes, um, one of them being on your packing slip that comes with your that your, this box came in and let's see I'm kind of sad about the box because um, now that I'm keeping my diamond my diamond paintings in their boxes I uh, like to have my boxes nice and pretty but yeah, we can't always control that all right, so there is our journal sticker. It's kind of hard to pull out because of the dent there. Oh, it's because I was pulling past the toolkit. There we go. And now box is empty. And let's see. So here is the journal sticker. It's a miniature version of the original art. And a lot of people, some people put them on the bottom of their box so they can see a visual picture of what it looks like when they're sorting through their boxes on the shelf to see what they want to do next. But I like to put them in my journal just because that's how I've done it from day one before stickers were even a thing. Um, journal stickers were, before journal, journal stickers were a thing, I would print out a picture of the diamond painting and I would tape it in here. So this is a lot more convenient to put it in the book so that when you're flipping through you can kind of see the picture of which one you want and anyway that's what i do our toolkit let's see this is a round kit so there will not be any tweezers but we do have a washi tape and this one it's always random so you never know what color you're gonna get so that's kind of a fall looking design and then you get a cover minder looks like they're using smaller magnets now but this is the one I got this time I got a silvery sparkly one and you get a little plastic heart-shaped container to hold your two pads of wax that they send you just be sure if you're a first-time user of these make sure you um, you've got to make sure to pull off the plastic coating that is on each side or else yeah it won't work so well 
So you get two of those. And you also get your magic applicator is what they call it. This one's blue. And I got a blue squishy to match it. And then you get a four placer. These are the thin ones, the uh, four and a seven placer. Always good to have those because they do wear down quick. And then you get a tray. These are um, a little higher than the normal ones. The edges are a little higher and it's a little wider too. And then you get this uh, stopper that you put in. And this is how they are supposed to sit in there like that with the point the this thing pointing up that way it's easy for you to pull it back out all right so there is oh and then you get a baggie full of baggies to kit your diamond painting up if you choose to do it that way so what you are given is everything that is needed to start your diamond painting right away you don't need anything else um, some of this stuff you don't absolutely have to use or need to do a diamond painting. You don't need multi-placers. You don't need the cute heart container, but you do need wax. You do need a tray. You do need a pen. And you need something to put your drills in. Some people aren't into multi-placing, but some of us are, like myself. And it's really nice that they give you those extras. Okay, so let's get into the diamond painting. We get it in this beautiful, beautiful bag. And I try to make it where I can reseal the bag after I put it back in and store it for when I'm ready to do it. So, there we are. And these canvases are made out of a material called tarpaulin. The reason it's so great for your for your diamond painting is because it will make your the colors last a lifetime in the background, and that's especially important on these round drills. And it also it makes it where it's self flattening. But what you also get is your thank you pamphlet that has some wonderful things inside it's got some QR codes that you could use it's got tips and tricks it's got a thank you code and it has step-by-step um, -step instructions so good tool to have if you are a brand new diamond painter painter and this handy dandy thing which I love this is not only a key showing you where your colors go, because that is also on your canvas, but these are stickers and they are individually cut so that you can just put them on your baggies that came with it. And you can see right there how they pop off like that. Or you can put them on the containers, depends on what you are getting into. And it also gives you a larger image of the art that you're going to be doing and it gives you a little spot for your start and end date and it gives you the information you know that you might want to reference later on so these are wonderful i i love having these and i'm so glad they do it um one other thing that about this is they give you the numbers for all the color codes and with the with diamond heart club you know which ones are going to be a b drills because they will be numbered below 150 so you can see the three that are going to be a b in this one we're going to have a red color it looks like a darker red a pink and white so 107 127 and 141 and those are numbered one two three one two and three on the canvas so i'm going to look at the canvas here now with you and see if i can show you where all of those ab drills are going to go and here's our drills and we will look at those here in a minute after we look at the canvas all right so we have oh look at how beautiful this i love cats and Simona Kindini is one of my favorite artists. I've done a few of her pieces. Um, not sure. I 
not sure how many she's done for Diamond Art Club, but I, I have done a few of hers, and I do love her artwork. And I love cats, and this looks like Betty Boop. I mean, to me, I don't know about you, but that kind of reminds me of Betty Boop. With the red lips and the red dress. So, oh my gosh, and these cats, oh my gosh, these are, if you've ever seen my cats, um, this one right here looks like my cat Leo. I'll put up a picture of what he looks like on the screen over here on the side so you can kind of see what he looks like, but he doesn't have bluish gray eyes. He's got the, the orange eyes. Okay, so... One, two, three, and four are what we are looking for. I mean, one, two, and three, sorry. And the whiskers, his whiskers, are going to be AB. So that's number three. And it looks like, because I know three is white. So that's an easy one to catch. Number two, which is that pink color, those are these dots on her dress. Those are number twos, so they go here and then a bit up here. And then there's one on her her lower lip. I don't know why, but that little white spot you see, that's a number two. And number three, which is the white, is uh, in this cat's ears. This white spots. And then the whisker, not, not the eyebrow whiskers, but these whiskers here are going to be number three. And I haven't seen one yet, which is, it's going to be a red color. So, it uh, looks like in her dress. Yes. Okay. So, we've got quite a few spots. you got some strips um, going through her dress here, here at the bottom. So, there's going to be, it's, her dress is going to pop because that's what AB drills do. They have that special coating on them that you know, give a zap of sparkle wherever they're placed. So you're going to get a lot of it in her dress down here and you get quite a bit of it here. So this like first top area, this a big chunk of it right there is going to be AB. You get a little bit in her lips. There's just a few ones, a handful of them. Now this is something I just caught. Um, the number three, the white, you're going to have a lot of it in this cat here. So up through here, all through there, down here. Oh my gosh, this cat is going to look magnificent. All through here in the tail. Oh my gosh, that is a lot. And there's a lot of red in this with these curtains, but I don't see any of the curtains having number one. So it's going to be the, the dress and the lips where you're gonna get the one, the red. And then the number two or just the spots on her dress is what, is what I found. You get, ooh, a, a, the number two is in each eye of hers one on each eye and then there's a couple of threes as well and then you get more threes on her earrings both sides and we got more of the threes up in this cat's face all around and and the whiskers aren't well at least not on this side I can't really tell where the whiskers yeah it looks like the whiskers are three on this side too it's kind of hard to see close up but it does look like it but not on this side but uh, all these, these hairs that kind of stick up here on top of the head, those are three as well. And a few of them on this side, um, on the sides here. So this cat is going to have a lot of ABs in it. And then her dress will have a lot of ABs. And then the number two is the one that ha has the least amount of color. But if you see, if you saw this close up, you would see that the, I mean, it doesn't look like these would be colors you should have um, in a face. But uh, from your distance, we can see that it blends so well that it looks right. Here, I'll show you up close what I'm, I'm showing, I'm seeing here. See? See how it's got some, like, dark colors and it just doesn't look like it would be a face. But then when you get further out oh yeah it makes sense and that's what we what 
you should always do with a diamond painting, especially one um, like this with a lot of colors that you're doing and it doesn't look right. Always, uh, always take three, three steps back, three feet back and look at it and you will see that, oh, okay, it does look right. So up close, it will not always look right because it's so pixelated and you're making a big mosaic painting and that's what you want to do is look at it from a distance not up close because a lot of those crooked drills that get placed on a diamond painting too you're not going to see them from from three feet back and it's not going to matter but here we go this does have a lot of colors 54 is a lot to me at least um it's you know i'm gonna say this is more confetti than color blocking because you know you got a little bit of color blocking in the curtains but not much I mean, not much at all. It's really, they're little small sections. Unless you're going um, vertical, you get a lot of color blocking going up and down because they're curtains. You get a little bit of a blocked area over here in the background, a little bit here in the blacks. But the cats are definitely, you know, confettied. They have quite a few colors. And I can't wait to do this white cat right here with all those ABs. I love working with ABs. But these cats are huge. Either that or she is really short. <laughs> so that's the diamond painting. I am completely in love with this. So we're going to now look at those drills and show you which ones we got in this kit. Okay. I will zoom in a little bit here so you can see these drills a little closer. And let me get to the bottom. Here we go. All right, so our first strip has the least amount of drills, the colors with the least amounts in them. And we're starting with our, our pink AB, which is number two. So you can see that um, coating on there. That's the AB coating. It's short for Aurora Borealis. And they call it that because it shifts colors when you, when you look at it at different angles. And like I said, it gives your diamond painting a zap of sparkle where, they're on, where they are on the canvas. So they call them AB because it reminds us of the Northern Lights. Well, the way it does that. So here we go with some other colors. And I mean, there's a good variety of colors for blending, blending in the different spots, the cats and the curtains and her hair and face, even her eyes have some blending going on. And then some people like to see all the colors. Some people don't really, it doesn't really matter, but I'm trying to show you the numbers too, because you know, some people like to see that. All right. Now, next strip has our second largest amounts of colors because that's how they how they fill their bags at Diamond Art Club is they uh, start with the bag that has the least amount of colors and they fill that and then more and more and more. So or, or they start with the bigger amounts. I don't know which way they start, but that's how they bag them. So some people wonder why they're not in order by number. Mm, that's why. Oh, and here's our number one, the red color AB. Look at those. Look at that AB coating. Isn't it beautiful? And then we got 550, my favorite purple in the DMC line. And, and then we're still looking for the white. And I think that's going to be in a bigger bag because there is a lot of it. Lots of browns for those kitty cats. And our last strip has the larger amounts in them. So 3799, that's a black brown. No, that's that grayish black color. Dark gray, I think. I get that and the black brown mixed up because they're similar. Here we go. 
Um, grays. And then here's beautiful red. I love the reds. There's 823, darker blue. So we got two bags of that. And 225, that's a pink color. I think that's um, actually going to go with on um, one of the cats. Let's see. Yeah, the, the white cat actually has a lot of pink in it. That's kind of interesting. So like I said, yeah, there's, okay, there's only one bag, but yeah, that, that's where that pink is going to be mainly is on the white cat. That's, but that makes sense because you look at the picture here and you can see it kind of looks pink. That cat has some pink highlights. That's cool. All right. And here is our number three AB, which is the white and I think the white shows the AB coating the best. There we go. And then we got more, more pinks. Wow, more reds. There's two bags of this. I think this must be the background red. And then we've got 939. There's two bags of that. So there is no black. It's the, the colors I was set pointing out saying black. I believe that's going to be the a lot of these darker blues. And then we've got two bags of 814. And again, I believe that's for the background. And 154 has two bags as well. So there, that's all of them. And I know, like I said, this already was released uh, yesterday. So if you bought this or you were waiting to see the sneak peek to buy it, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry it was late. Like I said, it arrived late on Friday and Saturday I had um, an emergency, so I was not able to do any videos yesterday. So here I am today and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if this is something you bought or that you are going to buy and uh, check out the links I have down below. There's some very helpful things for you that you might find that you could use and let me know if you uh, are a cat lover like me and just had to have this beautiful diamond painting and have you heard of Simona Candini before have you done any of her diamond paintings because like I said I have in the past and I do enjoy her work so if you uh, like this video go ahead and hit that like button it does help my channel be seen more and I really could use that because I haven't had a lot of time to be able to put videos up lately and I I just like to be able to show things to people and let them know all of what I know and help them as much as I can so yeah if you haven't subscribed I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit the notification bell and that way you will see not you won't miss any videos that I put up so thank you again so much, everyone, for watching. I do appreciate it. I will see you in my next video. Have fun diamond painting, and don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care, everyone. Bye.